Hello, my name is Phil Hart. I'm a member of the Idaho Legislature, member of the House of Representatives, and today we live in interesting times. And one of the issues in Idaho that's been dogging us, if you will, for over a decade is the wolf issue. The federal government in 1995 introduced Canadian gray wolves into the state of Idaho, and they used the Endangered Species Act as their authority for doing so. These wolves were so-called experimental non-essential species. They were non-essential because worldwide we have two to three hundred thousand wolves. It's really not an endangered species. And they're experimental because the Canadian gray wolf was not native to Idaho. Idaho had a timber wolf and we had about 75 of those timber wolves in Idaho at the time of the Canadian gray wolf introduction. And the Canadian gray wolf introduction was really illegal because in order to introduce an experimental species the original species has got to be extinct and our Idaho timber wolves were not extinct in fact two members of our legislature had seen them just before the introduction of the Canadian gray wolf well the wolf introduction has been plagued with all kinds of controversy we were supposed to have a hundred of them and then it was 150 and 15 years later we were up in the range of about 800 officially or some people thought 1500 or even 2000 wolves and they were getting to be a problem in fact it was an emergency and what we did this last session of the legislature in 2011 is with house bill 343 we declared an emergency or at least we set up the authority to declare an emergency and what the bill did is it identified what this emergency was the canadian gray wolves are diseased Two-thirds of them carry a tapeworm that humans can catch. In fact, we think we have two cases of that already in Idaho. And people can die from this tapeworm. And the scary part is you can have that worm for 20 years before it manifests itself. Well, also, the wolf is killing livestock. That's the property of our Idaho ranchers. This is, it's the purpose of state government to protect the life and property of Idahoans. And they're also a threat to both humans and livestock, both on a moment-by-moment uh, -moment basis if you encounter wolves or over the long haul because of the disease issue. So House Bill 343 was set up to declare an emergency, and we are going to use our police power to do that. Now, when the 13 original states met, to write the Constitution, they met as individual sovereign nations with all the power of any sovereign nation. And what those states did is they delegated part of that sovereignty to the federal government in the form of a written Constitution. And this union of states was going to operate as individual states with the sovereignty that they retained and as parts of a greater union with the sovereignty that they delegated to that union. Well, the states never delegated any of their police power to the federal government. We retain 100% of that, and that police power can be used to protect the people and the property of the citizens of any one of the 50 states. House Bill 343 also included a process by which someone could challenge the state's declaration of an emergency to deal with a wolf issue. And the bill required that one follow the Idaho Administrative Procedures Act, which requires you to challenge the, an issue at the state agency level. If you don't like what the state agency level determined, then you're off to state court. When a state exercises its police power, that is not something that the federal courts can look at. The federal court jurisdiction is defined in federal statute, and it does not include the exercise of a state of its police power. So our House Bill 343, which would provide for a declaration of a emergency to deal with our wolf problem is something that would go through the state courts and it would stay out of the federal court and this would give the state really the ability to handle its controversies and its problems at the state level without the involvement of the federal government. And through House Bill 343 we were not going to declare an emergency because of our wolf problem and that bill flew through the legislature 64 to 5 in the House and 28 to 7 in the Senate. And just a few days after that bill got through the legislature, but before it even got to the governor's desk, Congress delisted the wolves by act of Congress. But not only did they do that, but they restricted the court's ability to hear a case reference the delisting of the wolves. And what happened 
When Congress took the wolves off the endangered species list in Idaho and Montana, is that effectively transferred management of the wolves from the federal government to the state government? And I heard through inside sources that the reason they did that is Congress did not want a state to declare an emergency and trump Congress's power for a federal program. Well, we've got many issues that face us as states and issues that relate to the Tenth Amendment. House Bill 343 addressed one of those issues in a very creative way. We really got what we needed. We got control over the problem that was plaguing us. And if we can think creatively, I think we can deal with many other Tenth Amendment issues. Thanks for listening.